SEGA! What's up, Sonic? You're probably going to be waiting a long time. Sonic's 20th anniversary! I know all of you are very excited about this. All of you. Anyway, I want to thank everybody for uh, actually subscribing to my page recently. Uh, <coughs> I've gotten over like uh, 30 subscribers in the last three days, and I want to thank all of you for that. Thank you. Uh, I also want to uh, thank Trouble without an E. 8385 uh, for actually reminding all of us that it is Sonic's 20th anniversary. And the whole purpose of this video is to kind of relate to you my history with Sonic and kind of give you an idea of what games I actually have from Sonic. And the difference is, is <clears throat> I'm going to actually show you the, um, uh, the direction I actually got them in. Or the, the you know, clearly. It all started with Sonic 1, but we'll get into that in a second. Um, Sonic, for the most part, has been a mixed bag. You know, I mean, I love Sonic the Hedgehog. I always thought he was better than Mario, but, uh, you know, in recent years, i.e. 10 years, uh, he's basically sucked ass. So, um, you know, without further ado, we might as well just uh, go back to the best days, and uh, we'll start with my original copy. Of Sonic the Hedgehog. And I tell you, I got this game on my birthday in Manhattan at Toys R Us. Now, for those of you who've been to the Toys R Us store in Times Square, it's not that store because it was before that time. It was actually a store a little north than that. And I was with my aunt, and we were going to go see a movie, and we stopped at Toys R Us, and I saw all these kids playing Sonic, and I remember being so excited to get it that I forgot to tie my sneaker and it actually got caught in the escalator heading up to the video game section in the store and the lace got caught in the escalator and actually ripped my shoe off and to this day I still look at my sneakers or shoes when I get on an escalator um, <clears throat> and that's directly related to Sonic anyway I remember buying Sonic and I remember the car ride home, and you know, you don't get this feeling anymore when you get older. Um, <clears throat> you look at the cellophane, you open it up slowly, you open the box, <clears throat> you look at the cartridge, and before you even look at the book, you take the poster out, and you look at all the games that are coming out in the future, or, or the games that are already out that you wish you had. <clears throat> and I remember, uh, I remember barely glancing at the the manual because you only you, for me personally I only looked at the manual after I played the game and um, Sonic was no different and I remember being blown away when I got home and put it into the uh, Genesis just blown away by the graphics the music everything man Sonic one was awesome it was a great time in video game history. It was when video games were super exciting, were groundbreaking. I mean, they're still groundbreaking to this day, but I mean, like, <clears throat> to a level that I've never really felt again. <clears throat> Next, of course, was Sonic 2, which was definitely better than Sonic 1 in terms of the graphics, the music, 
the wow factor, everything was cool about this game. Even Tails was cool, despite it being kind of like a fake player two, because it really was a fake player two uh, option. Tails, you know, always got lost, died constantly. Yeah, he's kind of, he was kind of shitty. But um, it was awesome. It was an awesome, awesome game. And it, it, particularly the fake scaling effect on the bonus stages. Because I always remember having arguments with my buddies about how Genesis was better than Super Nintendo. You know, Sonic 2 aided in some of those arguments because they always just throw at me, oh, it doesn't have scaling or rotation. And I'd be like, well, look at Sonic 2. Anyway. Great game, great game. Then I had Sega CD, which meant I had to get Sonic CD. Now, this is a garage sale beat up piece of crap copy of Sonic CD, but I had Sonic CD when it came out, and like every other Sega CD day game I had, except for one, we returned it. We would play it and return it, like we rented it, played it, and returned it. Babbage's back in the day used to allow people to open up the uh, software. And they returned it for whatever reason. So me and my brother used to basically rent games from Babbage's on the original 50 bucks that we had. I remember having games like Lunar and Sonic and uh, Escape from Monkey Island. And, I mean, this is just Sega CD status. So we had Sonic CD. And Sonic CD was awesome because it was the first time that I really got a chance to see cartoon full motion video. And I was amazed that Sonic had his own music and you know, had his own video, and it was, it was just a sick, sick time. Now, the game itself, though, I mean, a lot of people argue that it's probably the best Sonic. I personally didn't get the same feeling from Sonic CD that I did from Sonic 1 and Sonic 2. Um, you know, it had, it had a lot of cool effects. It definitely had a lot of different things going on, more than the Genesis could actually handle on its own, but it just didn't get, you know, it had cool music, too. I just didn't get the same feeling. Up next for me, personally, I skipped the whole generation and went straight to Sonic Adventure. Of course, Sonic Adventure was awesome, groundbreaking, uh, had awesome, you know, graphics, colors, music, and it was a lot of fun to play. I mean, it was obviously different than the 2D games that I was always used to, but it was a lot of, a lot of fun to play, side-scrolling. I had a good time with that one. And that was it for Sonic for me, uh, to be honest with you. The rest of these games I've picked up thrifting, garage selling, stuff like that. So I never really played Sonic 3 or Sonic & Knuckles, but, you know, I do have them. You know, Sonic & Knuckles right here, which looks kind of cool. Um, Sonic 3 obviously looks very cool. Um, Graphics-wise, it looked like they uh, really expanded on colors and stuff like that. You know, towards the end of the Genesis uh, cycle, you know, they really got a grasp on how to expand on the colors of the Genesis in terms of, you know, the 64 colors on screen and stuff. Uh, Sonic Spinball, I've only played this um, on the collection version. And, you know, I was never into pinball games on consoles because, you know, why play pinball on a console when you can just go to the, to the arcade and play a real deal. This game is actually pretty cool. You know, it's a little choppy, but it's actually kind of cool. Funny thing is, I just picked this one up today. Sonic R looks like a ripoff of Mario Kart. Graphics don't even look that good, but you guys tell me if you know anything about it. Sonic Mega Collection. The cool thing about this is that it actually has Game Gear games on it. Um, the problem with that is, is when you play it on a 46-inch LCD, it looks like crap. So. Uh, but it's got every Sonic game available, including Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine, which is actually a fun little game. It's just like uh, Mario, um, Dr. Mario. So, you should check that out. And of course, the PS2 uh, Sega Genesis Collection has got Sonic the Hedgehog on it. Um, got a really interesting Sonic Adventure here, though. It's Sonic Adventure Limited Edition. It didn't come with a case or anything, but it says Hollywood Video on it. And from what I understand, um... It's a special edition that came out just for Hollywood Video to show, or maybe even Blockbuster, but to show, you know, clips from Sonic Adventure. And if you guys know anything about this game, let me know. Uh, I've done a little research on it. I haven't really found anything about it, but check it out here. Sonic Adventure Limited Edition. Um, yeah, that's the extent of my Sonic collection. And 
I'd probably just keep it like that, to be honest with you. Um, Sonic really has sucked crap. I don't know what Sega's thinking with Sonic, but he really hasn't done too well uh, for the last ten years, in my opinion. Uh, I haven't played Sonic uh, the Hedgehog 4, but if you guys have ever played that, feel free to leave a comment. Uh, I've never played it before, but um, yeah, it's been fun. Happy 20th, Sonic. Uh, you're an old man. I'm an old man. Jeez, I'm wishing Sonic a 20th anniversary. That's ridiculous. That's how you know you're old. But uh, hey, guys, thanks for tuning in, and uh, I'll see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.